All right, Jason Hetland here with ForTheRide.com and the Rodeo Roundup with round one winner, Casey Martin. Casey, what a great way to start off the 2012 finals. Thank you. What a fast run, uh, you know, setting the stage great for the next nine nights. And uh, does this boost your confidence and take a little of the edge off and, you know, let you relax a little bit? Or you can't relax too much at the World Finals with all the talent in the arena. No, it's hard to relax with uh, the other 14 best guys in the world going at you. But it dang sure takes a load off your shoulders. You already got some money in the pocket and just go have fun the rest of the week and go at them. Definitely. You know, you've been working hard all year long be, to be able to make the finals. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty tight race in the division right now. And it's, it could be anybody's game by the end of the 10th night here at the Thomas and Max. So what do you look forward to for the rest of the rest of the, the year even after this? So what are your plans after the finals? Oh, after the finals, I'll probably go home and take a little time off, I'm sure. <laughs> Maybe do a little practice. And I got a green horse at home, so I got to work him a little bit. But uh Prepare for next year. You ain't got much time off. Perfect. And, you know, it's a long 10 days health-wise. You're coming into the finals pretty good and healthy and uh, maintaining the confidence and to get you through the 10 days. Are you soared up at all or anything like that? Oh, no, sir. I mean, I stay a little sore. I mean, most bulldoggers do, but just kind of work through it and keep on going. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to stop by the Rodeo Roundup. So on behalf of ForTheRide.com and the Rodeo Roundup, this is Jason Hitlin with Casey Martin.